we're live. Are we? Okay. I think we are. There's a little dot in the corner that says live. So I guess we should get started. Does that sound good? Okay, so, so should I start? Yeah, I think yes. you can start if you want. Was it nice? I don't know. Okay, let's wait for 431 and then we start, okay? Okay. Arquilla, you might need to uh, hear your mic just a second while people are talking because I think we're hearing background. Maybe my background because I'm the love of the hotel because the best place I'm vacations that's the best place that I could find the internet. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe you should just mute and then when you're talking, then yeah. mute. I, I think it's not it's not How? possible. Like the user can't, but I think the uh, Alison should be able to mute. How can I? How can I? Now it's fine. That's good. Think. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's start. Welcome, everybody. My name is Andres Urbano, and I am the SIGGRAPH 2018 Art Gallery Chair. I want to start by thanking you for joining us today. If you're new to SIGGRAPH, we know that it can be a bit overwhelming when you first arrive to the conference. SIGGRAPH is an exciting confluence of researchers, creatives, educators, and other industry professionals spanning different disciplines within computer graphics and interactive techniques. Through these five days, you will discover new opportunities across a variety of programs, and there are great opportunities to network and make new connections. We are going to break down all you need to know before joining us in Vancouver in just a few weeks across uh, four topic areas, learning experiences, events, and networking at SIGGRAPH. And then we will also take questions. So uh, at the end, we will take questions, but please, if you have comments or questions while we are speaking, feel free to uh, you know, uh, write down your questions while we are in the broadcast. So without further ado, let's introduce who else is on your screen today. Uh, next to me is Christy Prohn, SIGGRAPH 2018 General Submissions Chair, and Arukia Peixoto of the ACM SIGGRAPH International Resources Committee. So welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Well, my name is Aruka Peixoto. I am part from International Resource Committee at SIGGRAPH. I am also part of the Committee Diversity and Inclusion. Yes, we have a Diversity Inclusion Committee in SIGGRAPH. And I am member of the Council ACMW. ACMW is the Council from the ACM for Women. And this SIGGRAPH will be the third time that you'll be outside the United States. You'll be again, you'll be in this beautiful place. I think that's one of the most beautiful place in Canada. And you'll be from 12 to 6 in August in Convention Center, British Columbia, Canada. You have, you have a page and see graph the international resource page, check what you need to travel to Canada, if you need a visa, what you need to do. But I was being in the other two graphs in Vancouver. It was the most beautiful series that I saw in my life. And I am from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. 
And someone from the city like mine say that the city is beautiful? Yes, for sure, it's beautiful. Well, I hope that you get prepared because the, the weather is something like, not so cold, summer, but it's not the Brazil summer, maybe for Europeans and North Americans summer. And the Internet at the center of Vancouver is like uh, always take something like a jacket, something like light for the weather. We have the food just in front of the convention center. We have many places to eat, to stay, and place to go before and after the seagram. And now we are going to uh, Christy. Thank you. So I'm Christy Prawn. I'm the General Submissions Chair for SIGGRAPH 2018. And uh, at SIGGRAPH, there is a lot of educational opportunities. Um, you can learn more about the latest technologies and hear from active par uh, practitioners and share um, ideas about problems that need to be solved in new areas of exploration. And if you do have any questions, don't forget, um, you can put those in the comments below and we will um, go through those. So when you get to SIGGRAPH, there's a lots of different things that you're gonna see. You're gonna look at your locator and you're gonna see that there's things like technical papers and SIGGRAPH Next and all sorts of different things. So um, I'll kind of go through what is there and um, we'll see if there's anything that you wanna check out when you're there. So, no. for disseminating new scholarly work in computer graphics and internet interactive techniques. And uh, if you've never been to a technical paper talk, one of the best things to do is actually to go to the technical papers fast forward, which happens before the technical papers. And it's really an exciting two hour uh, session where the authors have about 30 seconds to wow the crowd about their technical paper to try to get them, try to get you to come to their technical paper. So it's actually a lot of fun to see people try to pull this together and do it in 30 seconds. Um, the registration letters uh, levels for technical papers is full conference, uh, full conference platinum, full conference one day. Um, so that would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Um, and the dates of the technical papers are from Monday, August 13th uh, through Thursday of that week. Uh, new this year is actually SIGGRAPH Next. And this program actually brings together high profile thought leaders to share visionary perspectives on emerging areas within computer graphics and interactive techniques. So we've got some great minds that are coming out this year and it'll give you a chance to kind of see what they're working on in computer graphics, but maybe see some of the stuff that they're working on that's just outside of computer graphics. Um, the registration levels for that are business symposium, full conference, platinum, full conference, and full conference one day. And that's happening Monday through Wednesday of that week. We also have uh, courses, talks, and panels, which is actually the general submissions area. Um, in courses, they are basically instructional sessions where you learn new concepts and skills. There are short courses and there are a little bit longer courses. Um, and so those are really, really fun if you've got some time to sit there and actually learn from folks that are teaching the courses. Talks take you behind the scenes uh, into the minds of some of the SIGGRAPH 2018 creators in all areas of computer graphics and interactive techniques, including art, design, animation, visual effects, interactivity, research, and engineering. And panels are a mixture of people who will discuss um, and confer with and debate with each other about different things within our industry. And these are really cool. We have about, I think it's seven panels this year, and it's just, wow. they're, they're gonna be amazing. Um, so the registration for that is full conference platinum for cost, um, courses, talks, and panels, as well as full conference for courses, talks, and panels. Um, courses are full conference and one day as well. Um, and the dates and locations for that um, are varied uh, throughout the convention center. So just uh, kind of pick up your locator or uh, log on to the SIGGRAPH app, and it'll actually tell you where all those are. Um, art papers. Uh, art papers are um, papers contributed uh, to the understanding a history of art and kind of a chance to inform uh, contemporary and artistic and critical and pra uh, critical practices. Um, and so basically it's just really a good chance to kind of learn about um, kind of the art paper and the art in, in, in SIGGRAPH. Um, new this year to art papers is actually the short papers. So you can hear um, select art papers during the technical papers fast forward that are actually focused on art in specific. Um, 
So that's full conference platinum and full conference and full conference one day, but only Tuesday on that one. Um, posters, uh, if you've never seen posters, those are pretty cool. Um, those are actually in a certain section of the convention center where you can actually see some of the student researchers uh, and artists and enthusiasts and also industry veterans um, put up their computer graphics and interact interactive techniques uh, right on the posters. And a lot of times you'll actually find that posters are late breaking content. Uh, maybe they couldn't get through uh, the jury. They weren't done their stuff fast enough. So they missed the jury deadline, um, but they actually got into the posters because it's late breaking. So that's some really cool stuff. And you can also see what a lot of students are working on. So check those out. Um, the registration level for posters is business symposium, full conference, full conference platinum, uh, full conference one day, which is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And you can also see the posters with conference select and exhibits plus. So those are going to be in the West Ballroom, West Building Ballroom foyer. Uh, production sessions, super cool. Um, this is where you get the most elite and talented computer graphic experts and creative geniuses to explain their process and techniques for creating all that content that you see in some of the blockbuster movies. So these are these are super fun to see. Um, and, and don't forget to kind of check these out. Um, these require full conference, full conference select, full conference one day. Um, and the the production sessions are happening Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, so check those out. They're going to be in West Building and Ballroom AB. Um, games is actually a, a focus that we actually have at SIGGRAPH. So there's going to be a couple talks. Uh, there's going to be some panels. There's going to be some um, courses that are focused on games this year. Um, so take a chance to kind of look those up in your locator. Um, there's going to be like a little icon for um, one of the uh, focuses, and it'll tell you that it's games and that you should check that out. Um, so those are going to be really cool. Um, and that those are kind of multiple um, registration levels as well, depending on if they're a talk or they're a panel or they're a course. Um, so check out your locator or check out the app for that. Uh, educators Forum. This is a really cool one, too, especially if you're an educator. Um, this includes juried and um, curated content that's specifically targeted to an educator um, from K through 12, as well as undergraduate and graduate programs. Um, the Educators Forum includes the SIGGRAPH Educations Committee Town Hall and the Educators Meet and Greet, and it's two days of uh, educational related content. And this one requires a registration level of full conference, platinum, full conference, or select conference. And the Educator Forum is happening Monday and Tuesday, August 13th and 14th in the West Building. Um, so the educational opportunities at SIGGRAPH are going to leave you feeling speechless and full of knowledge. And while the education can't be missed, the events that you'll attend are the next level. And I will let Andre explain more. That sounds awesome. Thank you. If that sounded like a lot, there are also tons of events that are part of SIGGRAPH. I highly recommend you attend as many of these events as you can. It is a great way to celebrate the achievements of our community and, of course, networking. So the first one, how cool is this? Computer Animation Festival, the leading annual festival for the world's most innovative, accomplished, and amazing digital film and video creators. The Computer Animation Festival includes two parts, electronic theater and VR theater. Electronic theater Part of the Computer Animation Festival, a high-tech projection of the finest achievements in animated feature and short films, games, advertising, visual effects, real-time effects, real-time graphics, and scientific visualization. Registration levels for these are Business Symposium, Full Conference Platinum, and Full Conference. The location is West Building Ballroom AB. So the second one is VR Theater. It's part of the Computer Animation Festival. The VR Theater will present daily ticketed screenings expanded from 25 to 32 seats each, along with individual kiosks for programming. So um, we will have more than 30 global submissions for this. So the registration levels are full conference, full conference platinum, um, if you like to visit individual kiosk programming, this can be accessed by selected conference and also Exhibit Plus. Location is East Building, Exhibit Hall A. Um, 
One of the most important uh, sessions is the keynote session. Please join Rob Bredo, Senior Vice President, Executive Producer and Director and Head of the ILM. And uh, his talk will be focused on the main topic of SIGGRAPH 2018, Generations and the Evolution of the Creative Process. Registration levels are a business symposium, full conference platinum, full conference and full conference one day. And also there's an option for select conference. The date, is, this is very important, Monday 13, 2 p.m. Location, West Building, Ballroom AB. Um, one very interesting social gathering is the Cigarette 2018 reception will take place beneath the Canada Play Sales in Vancouver Convention Center East Building. It's an amazingly beautiful spot. Join fellows, researchers, scientists, artists, and entrepreneurs to celebrate 45 years of innovation, imagination, and technological breakthrough. breakthrough. So registration levels are full conference platinum and full conference. Mm -hmm. The date is Monday 13, and this is going to be 8 p.m. I think in summer still with a little bit of sunlight, and then the night is uh, so beautiful from that location. So again, location is East Building, Exhibition Hall B. So there is more, uh, real-time live and interactive extravaganza that highlights the most innovative work in real-time graphics, immersive experiences and interactive techniques, all packaged you know, into a diverse, fast-paced evening event. Content is presented live on stage and showcases the latest trends and techniques for pushing the boundaries on interactive visuals. I've been in this kind of presentations and it's really um, remarkable the level of information you get and also uh, this uh, you know, fast way to present the content is very engaging. So registration levels are full conference platinum, full conference, full conference one day, Tuesday only in this case, and select conference. So again, this is um, Tuesday 14, uh, 6 p.m. Location, West Building, Ballroom AB. Uh, the next one is AP Hour or AP Hour. Our, um, it's a techno-social event that celebrates innovation, creativity, and know-how, where attendees interact with developers and experience the next generation of mobile media. Registration levels, business symposium, full conference, full conference platinum, full conference one day, select conference, and exhibit class. Date, Wednesday 15, and location is West Building, Exhibit Hall B, and the attendee lounge too. So, Christy, please uh, keep you. us informing about like other um, events and venues in Zero. I can do that. Uh, so, curious, what could be possibly left out of all the experiences and education that Andre listed above? Well, trust me, there is so much more. So, as a reminder, please comment with any questions for our Q&A at the end, and we will try to answer those for you. Um, but what, what we haven't talked about is the Experience Hall, which is actually very near and dear to my heart because I've worked in the Experience Hall for the past few years. Uh, so, the Experience Hall includes the following programs which is art gallery, emerging technologies, studio, and production gallery. While, the experience hall, while you're in the experience hall, you'll get a chance to observe and interact with apps and demos and hands-on labs that showcase everything from mobile VR to haptic technology to real-time game sequences, 3D printing, and immersive reality. So in the art gallery, you get a chance to look at how the artists and designers and local makers and developers are using different tactics to create innovative work. In emerging technologies, you're going to be presented with work from many subdisciplines, from interactive techniques, with special emphasis on projects that focus on the three core areas of our lives, which are health, home, and entertainment. So what are you waiting for? Come on and test drive some <laughs> of the interactive techniques here. Um, so it's, it's going to be super awesome. In the studio, you get a chance to create works of art. Um, some items that are, are functional or maybe objects that are just kind of a novelty. So if you can imagine it, in the SIGGRAPH studio, we have the resources to help you make that a reality. And the production gallery, um, which started last year, it's the second year we're having it, um, it's basically a museum-like space where the attendees can check out some of the props and the artwork from the major studio productions 
up close. So you can really get in and get some good pictures with stuff. So it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. And one of the things I haven't mentioned, if you've been to a SIGGRAPH in the past, is the VR Village. Um, so it is part of the Experience Hall, but this year it's actually on the other side of the Convention Center because it is so big. So that's wow. going to be really exciting. Um, so the immersive program it features VR, AR, and MR. Um, it's also going to feature um, basically the VR Village that you've seen in the past, the VR Arcade, and a VR Museum, as well as a computer animation festival, VR theater, which will have special VR screenings there, uh, including kiosks. So we're hoping that we can get more people into the VR theater than we have in the past. Um, so come on and play with some of the new future uh, technologies there. Um, you're going to get a chance to work with some augmented reality and some mixed reality. And you're going to get a chance to talk to or see some of the creators, the evolution of interactivity over there. So it's going to be really, really cool. So all of these things that are part of the Experience Hall area, um, they have the registration levels of Business Symposium, Full Conference, Full Conference Platinum, Full Conference One Day, Select Conference, and for someone who asked the question about Exhibits Plus, what does that get me into? That gets you into the Experience Hall. So you can use that Exhibits Plus to see all of that stuff. So that's going to be super cool. Um, we have another new thing this year, which is called Cave XR. Um, so the CAVE, which is a computer automated virtual environment, for those that don't know what that stands for. Um, basically, that's the coming of age story told through the latest experiential technology. So it features binaural audio, mixed reality, and a co-located untethered virtual reality experience for an unprecedented 24 viewers at a time. So that's going to be super cool. Um, there is no registration level required for this. So this is going to be in East Building Rooms 19 and 20. So anybody can actually get a chance to try this out. Um, along with some of the stuff you see in the Experience Hall, there's also experience presentations. So these are informal presentations on the new ideas that are applicable to the techniques, the concepts, and the strategies that are related to Experience Hall uh, venues. So that includes art gallery, emerging technologies, studio, as well as the immersive pavilion, which is VR village and VR theater. So you'll get to talk to and hear from some of the folks that are actually displaying their work in the experience hall in a separate chance for them to actually give a talk about it. So that's super cool. Um, that registration level is business symposium, full conference, full conference platinum, select conference, and exhibits plus. So those are uh, special talks that you can actually see. Um, the dates of those are Sunday, August 12th, uh, from 3.45 to 5.15 p.m. Monday, August 13th, from 2 p.m. to 5.15 p.m. Tuesday, August 15th, from 9.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Wednesday, August 15th, everything says August 15th. So Tuesday, August 14th, Wednesday, August 15th, uh, 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. and 2 p.m. to 5.15 p.m. And Thursday, August 16th, 9 a.m. to 12.15 p.m. and 3.45 to 5 p.m. So all of the locations are different areas. So just check out your locator or check out the app and you'll be able to uh, see that. Um, the other thing that's really, really big at SIGGRAPH is the exhibition. So it's the largest, most comprehensive exhibition of hardware systems, software tools, and creative services in the computer graphics and interactive marketplace. Uh, it's established industry leaders and emerging uh, challenges, uh, displays. Dis they discuss and they demonstrate the products and the systems and the techniques and all the different ideas, uh, all the things that are going to bring us into uh, the digital future. Um, so you can see all of those companies and get a chance to walk around and talk with them and find out some of the really cool stuff that's going on. And if you're in, uh, if you're a buyer for your company, you might be able to work out some deals with the companies while you're on the floor. Um, within the exhibition hall, there's also exhibitor sessions. So some of the exhibitors will give you kind of hands-on about their software and they'll be able to talk about stuff. So that's actually happening right on the floor. Uh, the job fair is there as well. So uh, there's a lot of employers that are looking for people to hire. So the job fair is there. And so if you're in the mood for a job or you want to change, check out the job fair. Um, and the registration levels for that is pretty much everybody. So you business symposium, full conference platinum, full conference, full conference one day, select conference, exhibits plus, and exhibits only. 
And the <laughs> exhibition is Tuesday and Wednesday, August 14th and 15th, from 9.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Thursday, 9.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. So it closes a little early on Thursday. And that's gonna be in West Building uh, Exhibit Hall C. So the experiences you have at SIGGRAPH 2018 are clearly next to none. Uh, ready to learn more about how you can experience and uh, interact with other attendees. I'll, uh, I'll hand that quote, unquote, mic off to Aquila to deliver uh, to tell you the connections that you'll make at SIGGRAPH 2018. Aquila? Well, I don't know how I'm going to follow Christian. Yes. Well, right. with the other thing is, and maybe even look for tips on how to best navigate each space opportunity. Well, that's what I'm going to talk about. Again, please comment the questions in the thread below, and we can ask these questions in the end of this conversation. So the, just about the finish. The first, you have the beads of feather. It's great related, attendee organized, information discussion of shared interests, goals, technologies, and all backgrounds. It's like beads of feather. Groups that want to talk about something that's interesting for them. And we have the registration for this until 27th of July. We have just more days if you want to meet someone. And you can have more information and see Graph 2008 website. The registration level is always say using symposium, full conference, full conference platinum, full conference one day, Sunday or Monday until Thursday. Selected conference is oh, uh, the location view. We have the specific with the feather you want to participate. View the date and location details. You have this in the booklet and the uh, or in the program. You have the business symposium. It's another thing to have to see. Turn to see Graph 2018. This two-day VIP event we explore the intersection of technology, creativity, and business. Is an end of the advances of the past and focusing on what the future looks like for CG and interactive techniques. Please, not that an additional registration is required to attend this business symposium. Visit the CGF 2008 website to see. Uh, the registration level is business symposium. You need this uh, registration level. Will be in Saturday, August 11, from 8:30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sunday, August 12, 8:30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Sorry, we'll be in West Building in the room 301 to and 305. And now the part that I love much more because I am part for International Center. I'm part of International Resource Committee, and you have the International Center. Uh, this is a visitor service boat to welcome our international visitors, and the ACMC is a space for meetings, talkings, panels, and demos, including the popular and CG panel. Yes, I am part of this, of course. <laughs> and informal translation services are also available based on availability of volunteers. Uh, the Japanese, they have this. The International Center, we have many meetings that are focused in regions. We have a meeting for Latin America, that's Andres is part too. And we have a meeting that I love so much. Last year, we start with SIGGRAPH for Beginners. SIGGRAPH for Beginners is a meeting that you do for people that never attended SIGGRAPH. Because my first SIGGRAPH was Los Angeles Convention Center, 2010. And I remember when I looked this, uh, the other people that you know the Convention Center for Los Angeles, see how huge it is. And I look and get, oh my God, it's all this. What's happened in this place? And I realized soon, that a lot of things happens, and many things happen at the same time to many different kinds of people, from arts, from technical, 
this year we have a great program of virtual reality and Seagraph for beginners is talking for the first time attending something like what you cannot miss Seagraph. The International Center, uh, the dates will be sun Sunday to Wednesday, all the days you have different meetings, you have to, you must see the program and who work from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and we have the oh I'm so sorry I got so lost the location yes I look for the location the West Building uh, no West Building I'm so sorry I cannot find it sorry guys I was just looking for like the other you have a theater a big theater and you will find to see because you have many flags you have flags for many countries but think something international center is not something outside canada or outside usa international centers means everyone we are all international SIGGRAPH, we have SIGGRAPH and we have SIGGRAPH Asia. SIGGRAPH is clearly an international space. The International Center is not just to a group, it's to everyone. Feel welcome to come with us. We have also the opening ceremony and ACM SIGGRAPH Awards presentations. They are the quick of the conference with ACM SIGGRAPH welcome and the chance to watch the prestigious presentation of the annual awards in preparative talks on Monday. The registration levels that you need for opening ceremony are full conference, full conference platinum, full conference one day, Monday only, and you select and conference. It will be Monday, August 30, 9 a.m. to a.m. We will be in West Building in the Baron AB. We have another thing really interesting, especially to students. Our ACM Students Research Competition final presentation. These students' posters are selected for judging at SIGGRAPHS 2018. A panel of these judges select the same finalists in each category, undergraduate and graduate, who present their work to attendees. The registration levels are using the symposium, full conference, full conference platinum, full conference one day, wetness only, and selected conference exhibit plus. Will be a Wednesday, August 15, 3 uh, 45 p.m. to 5 15 p.m. Will be in West Bury in the room 118, 120. And looking for a bonus while waiting to network with your others and navigate SIGGRAPH 2008, well, you have this. Look no further. We conference mobile app. We have an uh, app for the conference. Uh, with the activity feed and customizable profiles, you can message and connect with fellow attendees in the palm of your hands. Just put this in your mobile, walk in the conference, see who is there, make some take coffee with someone, see what presentation is going now, what's going after. And plus, go to manage your schedule, submit session feedback, and participation live pool. Select some sessions, I don't have this. Uh, the app also has interactive maps that will help you to navigate the immersive pavilion, experience hall, exhibition, and job fair space, and so much more. Note that you must be registered with a valid confirmation ID in order to log in to the app and access login on features, which include the activity feed and profile network function, as well as multi device schedule the scene. Now that you, I hope, have a great idea about don't be SIGGRAPH for beginners if you've never been SIGGRAPH, please. I love this meeting. Um, well, let's move to answering your burning questions. I hope that you have questions, guys. And we still have some laundry, some questions now. Keep commenting and we'll try to get as many as possible. Thank you. 
Uh, starting the quiz already now? Yeah, it looks like the first question we have is, uh, what do I need to bring with me when I arrive at the conference to get in? So that's a great question. Uh, so what you need to bring is your confirmation email, whether it's virtual or printed, to receive your registration badge. So kind of when you go in, there's going to be signs that say where the registration hall is, and you just go in there. Uh, you can scan your ticket or, or go in there uh, and just, just bring what you printed, and you can get your registration badge. Simple as that. <laughs> Do you have another question? What time is registration open? What time is registration open? I have no idea. <laughs> um, I think actually, so it, it will open on Saturday for folks that are coming in early. So you can get in. Um, if you check the website, it's going to change each day. Uh, so check the website to see what the times are to make sure that they're open when you get there. But you can register any day uh, starting Saturday all the way through Thursday in case you're one of the folks that are doing a one day pass. Um, but it will be there. And you have to check the website and you'll be able to see uh, all of those times. Uh, the next question we said uh, it says I have an exhibits plus pass. What would be the best plus thing to check out? Ooh, I think we should ask everybody what the best plus things to check out. So um, I would say experience hall for my own personal um, love of SIGGRAPH. Um, there's a ton of stuff that you can do in the experience hall. Um, oh, yeah. uh, having been an ETech chair, I'm going to lean towards ETech. So I'm going to say go to ETech. Uh, try out the stuff. It's going to be amazing. It will blow your mind. There's lots of fun stuff in there and some quirky stuff that you've never seen before. So I'll say eTech is my pick for Exhibits Plus. Uh, Andres, do you have a... You have of a course, story? I have a um, comment. Because uh, I am the art gallery chair, I would suggest to go to the art gallery. We have a selection of fantastic uh, media arts projects. Uh, from all over the world, and uh, several of them, you know, exploring different um, technologies uh, from VR to uh, interactive pieces without electricity. Uh, so it's going to be quite diverse. We're going to make an emphasis on the production of media artworks by uh, First Nations in Canada. So I think it's quite eclectic mix, and that's my recommendation. That's my plus. I think that's incredible things. Um, one thing that I love at gallery, but I'm completely technical. I am a professor of computer graphics, um, engineering, computer mathematics, but I always love to see what's happening different in CGRAPH. Then don't miss art gallery. This year we have a great program in virtual reality. They look to be preparing something really great. <laughs> And as technical, I cannot say. Uh, you need to see the fast forwards to choose what's. We always have many great sessions happen at the same time, technical papers. And go to fast forwards and look what they cannot miss. Like everything, but pick something, some choice. Do some choice there. To the next question. In your experience, what is the best way to organize or schedule to get a glimpse of all the content presented at SIGGRAPH? Wow. Um, the app? Yeah. yeah, the app. Uh, definitely. I, the I app. agree. Yeah. In, um, I know you can uh, you can put a login on the app so that people can actually um, <laughs> you can actually see who's there and get a profile if you want to fill out your profile. Um, so that's really cool. But I I schedule everything through the app because it's so hard to, to try to get to everything. And you can you can heart stuff and, and like it. And and I'm so busy half the time, I can't even get to see everything. So I think my goal is to see more than two talks this year when I'm not busy. <laughs> Every attendee for Seagraph, we have so many great things happen at the same time. 
this for this reason I think to organize this year for beginners because when you see you see oh I miss this I miss that I want to be there because you have great options at the same time then you have to choose something it's like seagraph every time that seagraph happens there's five great things happening you have to choose then the best thing is look for the advanced program first in the page from seagraph take the applet and make your chat we got another Andres? Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, related to the la latest question about like the best days to go to the uh, seed exhibitions, exhibits, I think go as early as possible. Uh, great. Great tip. To see everything. And, uh, you know, with a pace that you will enjoy. Or otherwise, if you go late, it could be overwhelming. Yeah. Um and sometimes there's so much content going on. So if you're really interested in like the exhibits hall um, and you know that there's maybe like a powerhouse production session going on that everyone's going to, um, sneaking over to the ex exhibition hall during that sometimes is really useful because if everybody's over there and you're over there, it's good. <laughs> Let's see, what's the best process to plan? There's so much content and I'm trying to chart out my calendar to go from one event to the next. A few titles that aren't clear and I have to read every description. So this is kind of tedious, unfortunately. Any tips? Um, well, there is actually these things called personas that are probably uh, listed on the website. Um, and the personas are actually designed to help you figure out kind of what track you should go on. Um, so there's personas for folks that are into art and design education, gaming, and VR. And so if you look for that little icon, that'll help you get an idea of what might be of interest to you. Um, it, it's hard because I know a lot of the, the talks, the sessions are called something really interesting, like effects omelet or something like that. Um, but all of the talks that are in them are hopefully similar. We try to make sure that they are, but there are so many different talks and different things happening that they're not all similar, but they should um, fit a certain uh, uh, kind of what you're into, um, those talk sessions. So if you if you go to one one talk session, session you'll probably want to stay for all four of those. Um, but yeah, there is so much stuff going on and we tried not to um, put similar things or, or things that um, say, say you're into VR and gaming. We tried not to put VR and gaming things up against one another so you can still go to different things that are following that track for you. So um, that's not really a good tip, but there's a yeah, lot going on. <laughs> go to real time life. That will yes. help. <laughs> it's a nice event and you will get a lot of the information to choose content and things like that. Yeah. We got another one. I have a full pass and I want to go to all the courses. How do I choose just a couple? Ooh. Um, some of the courses are actually two parters. Um, so there may be a course that says advances in real time rendering part one and advances in real time rendering part two. Um, depending on how in depth you want to get, you could just go to one of them, kind of get a, a sampler of it and kind of go to a different course. Um, there's also things called workshops that are in the studio, which are a little shorter than courses. They're different content, but um, they have a lot of hands-on um, stuff in there. So they'll actually have a computer set up for you to go in there and actually do the hands-on course as well. So there's going to be even more courses technically for you to see. Um, so you can check those out. Um, but it's going to be very hard to get to everything. But you can leave the courses, too. You don't have to stay the whole time. Um, so just know that. We got another question. What's the best way to prepare for the job fair? Like some things hmm. to bring, how to dress, or great tips. Um, Samples of your work. Yep. A demo reel, if you're into demo animation. Demo reel, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think dress is actually, um, I don't think you have to wear a suit or anything like that because uh, the computer graphics uh, world, everybody is a little bit different. I mean, some people are casual and some people want to see kind of who you are. You know, if you, if you want to 
have purple hair and whatnot, that's you. You should come like that because that's you. And we want, you want to be hired. You want someone to hire you for you, not for someone that you're not. Um, but yeah, bring your demo reel. Uh, if you've got business cards, you got your resume. Um, sometimes it's good to, you know, have your stuff digital as well. So let's just say, um, you know, if it's on your business card and you've got your, your, your website and say, go here in case someone loses a paper resume. Um, but I know in the past at the job fair, they've done interviews on site. So, um, you may meet someone and they may just say, Hey, come back at three 30. I want to interview you. So bring everything that you would to an interview, hmm. that's what I'd say. Good tip. <laughs> that's a good, <laughs> what if I'm interested in everything? That's a great problem to have. Um, you're gonna have to pick and choose, I think. Um, but remember, SIGGRAPH happens every year, so uh, there was always gonna be new stuff to try next year. Um, but I think like Andre said earlier, um, a lot of the things like uh, the fast forward, so the technical papers fast forward, um, that'll give you a chance to kind of look at look at things quickly and see if that's really what you want to see, because you'll get oh, to definitely. go through all, all the technical papers, um, real time live, like he said, like, if you don't have a chance to see some of the talks about, you know, real time rendering, you go through real time live, I mean, that is this is one of my favorite things to see just because it's live too. Um, it's amazing the stuff that, that comes out of that. So um, I think if you're really interested in all the personas, I'd look first where your career path is going maybe and start there and then um, kind of trickle down to all the other personas would be my thing. What do you think, Andres? I agree. I pretty much agree with everything you said. <laughs> Yes. Um, <laughs> does the film festival consist of student films as well? Yes, there is student content that's in the computer animation festival. So uh, at the evening show called the Electronic Theater, it's actually a reel of uh, different content. It's about two, two and a half hours long. And there mm. is student content in that. Um, of high quality, of high amazing quality. quality. Yeah. Are there different films showing in different days? So the electronic theater is the same reel that happens. So the Monday showing and the Tuesday showing are the same showing. Um, we, and correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think we do the, we don't do the daily showings and the daily selects anymore. So we just have the computer animation festival. Um, does the electronic theater version of that. And there may be content in the VR theater, which is also part of the Computer Animation Festival, that is student content as well. What do you most look forward to each year at SIGGRAPH? I mean, I think, uh, what do you most look forward to each year at SIGGRAPH? I think it depends on your profile. Of course, uh, I'm very interested in the art gallery and uh, creative uses of technology. You get that a lot in different spaces, in the Experience Hall and the VR Theater, uh, in the Animation Festival too. Uh, however, you know, there are other people who are, you know, academics who are uh, specialized in kind of simulation of hair in um, you know for any professional animation they will have like a rich track to to explore too so it pretty much depends on your profile i think yeah i think um my favorite thing to do I, part of it is actually the people um honestly okay. like i go back every year to talk to different people and see different people. And it's like the connections that I make at SIGGRAPH, I don't make anywhere else uh, around the world or in, in companies. And you get a chance to talk to different companies and you see these people every year. So that's one of the, the things that I love the most to do. And um, I think the fact that I get inspired when I go, um, so, you know, 365 days out of the year, I'm working on my stuff and I'm very much into what I'm doing at work. And I'm not always thinking outside the box. 
But when I go to SIGGRAPH and I see all of these amazing people and the amazing content that they're bringing, and it's all so different, I'm so inspired when I come home um, to, to, to change things or look at things differently. So that's yeah. kind of one of the things that I like about SIGGRAPH. I totally agree. Yeah, people, definitely. Yeah. Creative, That's why interesting. I volunteer to see the yeah. people. <laughs> so I think I think that was all the questions we have. So I'm so excited that you guys all joined us today, and I really hope to see you in Vancouver. I assume that since you're on here, you're coming. Um, so make sure you check out the SIGGRAPH 2018 mobile app, the website, uh, all the social media channels to get the most up-to-date information on the conference happening, as well as those trusty emails that you received directly. Um, and should you need help on site, flag down any one of the hundreds of student volunteers in the bright shirts. Um, they'll be happy to help you and help you find out what you're looking for. Um, if you see me there, you can flag me down and I will try to answer your questions or help you out. Um, Same here. So yeah, thank you so much for joining us and we will see you soon. It was great, guys. Thank you for your attention. Thanks, Christine.